I'm making a platform for the back of the second gen for sleeping. A little tight-tasking right now, but what's we got here? 389. Well, I always use it still, but I was just sleeping. Okay, so today I'm making a platform for the back of the second gen for sleeping, of course, on the road a lot. Just trimmed up a thin piece of plywood, made some notches so it sits pretty snug. Try to get full length so I can stretch out as much as possible. And then um, gotta build some legs to support down there and across the middle resting pretty much right on that hump and there's like a brace across the back I've already done this in my third gen and um, it made things way nice as far as sleeping goes getting rid of the back seat and the backrest so then you can actually get a little bit more space obviously the third gen being a true crew cab has a little bit more room as you can see here got my subs under there this one I slapped together in like five minutes because I wanted to do it before a long trip to California but uh, the thing's great and actually have a lot of room to stretch out so I trimmed out a bunch of uh, inner metal workings to try to get even more space since the second gen's a bit more narrow and uh, i think that hopefully does it yeah i cut out this bracing through there and that that freed up probably almost 10 inches overall maybe more but uh, i'm gonna make these legs and then try and get this thing buttoned up Okay, so I just zipped this together. This is the length. And it'll sit pretty much in there, just like that. Pretty basic, some scrap I had sitting around. I think I might spray paint it up real quick to clean up the look a little bit. These are, this is actually an original two by four from uh, one of the walls in my house that was put up in 73. So it's actually, it's heavy duty. It's funny how much heavier a regular old two by four is compared to the new junk that you buy. All right, quick little spray down on the face just so it's a bit darker and doesn't kinda, doesn't stick out like a sore thumb when you open the door. Unfinished wood kind of looks a little silly inside of a vehicle, so that ought to do. A little tight tasking right now, but what's we got here? 389. Sound pretty good. All right. Got that in there nice and snug. No teeter totter. Sweet. This will be nice. Excited. Okay, so this here is just your regular four inch pad. You can see there, pretty comfy, comfy. And this is like your normal cot size sheet cover but that's what I have in the third gen and it's like the perfect fit. I'm gonna go get this thing tossed in there. Hopefully it covers everything nicely. All right, so I totally whiffed on finishing up the filming for this sleeper mod on the back of the, in the back of the second gen, but got it all squared up mattress 
see the wood frame under there. Let's see if I can swap that into. But yeah, I mean, I can fully stretch out in this thing. Don't mind that. Someone made that for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's sweet. I can fully stretch out in there. The, uh, the mattress sits nicely on the wood. It's all level. Honestly, not much less room, if any, than the third gen. So, I mean, it's just, uh, it's probably less space overall from like the dashboard to the back, but I mean, if you just scoot the seat up like a few inches, really you have full, full space in the back. So highly recommended if you're on the road a lot and you're not gonna have use your back seats. I don't know if you go to the racetrack, but it's nice for sleeping. It helps a lot. For a while I was using my third gen for, uh, well, I always use it still, but I was just sleeping in the back seat with nothing, which sucked pretty bad. And then I, for some reason, kept it in there for years. And um, now removing that and putting a platform back there, a noisy thing putting a platform back there just it freed up so much room but yeah this is great do recommend it's great for sleeping at the racetrack or on the road